Hello everyone, welcome to the new video series of Agito Ops. In this video series, we are going to see 30 videos in 30 days. We have already covered most of the concepts in Agito Ops board in our earlier video. If you haven't watched them, I'll be providing the URL in the video description. Please do watch. Now we will be proceeding to repos. So if you go to repositories and if you click on the drop down, you will get to see the list of repository. We haven't created any repository so far. And if you see, whenever you are creating a project with the project name, one repository will be automatically get created. This is the one and i'm going to ignore this i'm going to create a new repository just click on new repository and here we need to provide the repository name so this is the repository name and here if you see add readme so if you just check this option yeah file will be created you can use that file to provide some description about the repository so i'm going to uncheck it we will see i will show how you can uh, generate this file later and just come down here and click on create so now repository is created in case if you want to generate a readme file you can simply just click on initialize and once you click on it your readme file will be available and here you could provide some description about your repository now just click somewhere here there will be two scenarios one you are just creating the application from the scratch and another scenario where you already download the application and you want to push it to azure devops repos in this video, I'm going to show how we can push our code via git command. Later point of time, I, I will show how we can use it with Visual Studio or Visual Studio code. So in order to get started with, just go here to this URL and install git. I have already uploaded one video related to it. Just watch with the URL provided in the video description. Once you install git and if you search git in the search bar, you will find git bash. So you can either use this or you could use command prompt as well and in order to just to verify whether git is installed or not just type git space hyphen hyphen version so it is showing what is the version of git which i am using right now and now let's get back to our repository and now here if you see i have only one branch which is main branch and if you are starting from scratch you can simply clone from here just click on clone and you can just clone with visual studio or vs code whatever the environment you want to do you can do so now I'm going to talk about the second scenario where I already have the code and I want to push it to repository. So let me show. And this is where my application is there. And here I have one single file, which is a HTML one. This is a simple file. And I'm going to show how we can push this to Azure repos. It is going to the same way if you have Java or .NET, so whatever the code you have. So in order to get start, let me open this. So before we proceed, we need to set some global config so let me open this i'll be providing whatever the commands i'm going to use in the video description first this command you need to run to set your username so if you see here i just logged in with this email address and this is my username so i'm going to set the same over here enter and i'm going to set the email id enter and i'm just setting the default branch as main because if you have installed git it is taking master as the default branch so i'm just setting it over here as main as default branch so just set it over here and next sometime you will be getting ssl error so i'm just in the git config i'm just setting ssl verify as false okay we are done with the basic setup and here if you see i just uh, ran this commands here in this path so if you go there you will get to see dot git config so if you open this you will get to see whatever the config we have set these are the global configs so let me close this and now we are in this path but our code is under source repos whenever you are installing git under your username source repos folder will be created so under that only I have my application. So let me copy this. I need to change the directory here. So CD and execute. So from now, whatever the commands I'm going to execute will happen over here. So the next set of command is git init. So we are just initializing git over here in this particular path. So let me init. So which will create a hidden folder over here so under view i just enabled the hidden item so it is showing up dot git 
and we will come to this later and next we need to set remote url which means remote means whatever we have it here in the repository right? meaning like where everyone can see so this is what remote and what are we are having it right here is the local so we need to set where we need to push right so in order to do it first just go to here and click on clone and copy this url come here and let's paste over here there is an another command like git remote add url origin as well you could use that one as well but setting it means it will overwrite any existing url if it is set over there and here if you see i'm just keeping name as origin you can keep any name like staging url something like that you can keep it like this so this is the name we are giving for this url in the local so let me copy this and let's run it no such remote uh, we got error which says no such remote exists because we are trying to set it which doesn't exist right so first of all we need to use add it seems so maybe you you could use set url whenever you want to override it so let me add okay let me copy this now it should work fine yeah done and now before we proceed now let's go to that hidden folder and here if you see config is there let me edit it and here if you see the remote origin so everything you will get to see whatever we are setting at this particular folder right everything you could see over here in the config let me close this now let's come back here before we proceed i like to highlight that it takes a lot of effort to make a video like this so i request you to hit the bell icon super thanks is now enabled on our channel in case if you wish to contribute i would really appreciate it and what is the next set of command okay so here we already initialized one file right readme.file it is already there in the repository and here in your local repository we don't have right so in case if i'm trying to push this file it will show an error like hey already there are some files meaning like merge conflict will occur so first of all since already one file is there i'm trying to pull it so git pull origin means whatever the url saved with uh, this name it will be get referred and then from which branch main branch so let me run this hope it won't show any error okay done now if you come back here you could find that readme file and next git add hyphen hyphen all which means whatever the file under here let's say for example if you have 10 files just add everything add all okay let me add all what's next commit them so hyphen m means message so this is the message i'm going to provide so you could provide any command you want so what kind of code you are pushing why you are pushing so all this you could provide commit think commit like hey i'm done with this so just closing up everything that is what we refer it as commit first commit and next what are we done so far it is everything in our local only we haven't even pushed anything to our remote repository so in order to push it git push hyphen u origin to which branch main branch so let me go over here and execute it now let's go back here and verify yeah we have successfully pushed our html file over here and that's it on this video in upcoming videos what we are going to see how we can import a repository from github and how we can create branches how to add a specific file so which we are going to see in upcoming videos as of now hit the bell icon and wait for my next video thank you bye bye and that's it on this video in upcoming videos what we are going to see is how we can import a repository from github and how to create branches how to add a specific file to the commit so all these we are going to see in upcoming videos so hit the bell icon so that you will get a notification whenever i'm uploading new videos thank you for watching bye bye I will provide WhatsApp and Telegram channel URL in the video description. Please do join. I request you hit the bell icon so that you will get notified when I am uploading new videos. Follow me on LinkedIn to stay connected. Thank you. Bye-bye.